And we're back. Let's play Majora's Mask. I am with BCD113 and a demonic presence. And we are going to enter this doorway here. Well, the only door is it opens like that. And for some reason, time has stopped. Ooh, yeah. Instead of a clock tower, no less. Hey, John! Yeah. Were you able to recover your precious item from that inn? Precious. Oh, oh, you got it! You got it! You got it! You got it! <laughs> is that the face of Elvis Presley on his background? Yes. Oh. Yeah, where the hell is that? Listen to me. Please play this song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. Why does it have such a piano? My not a piano. That's actually piano. Whatever. Follow after me. I will tap the keys with my key with my fingers completely. Damn. Damn it! <laughs> you fail. That's this is why I'm not a musician, everybody. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You play the piano much better than I can. I learned by ear, and I only know like a couple of songs. Anyway, it looks like something else is happening. More drugs. This actually looks really painful. Bye bye, Why curse. Is he leaving? <laughs> because he's sad to see it go. I like being wood. My face fell off. And once again, we're back to normal lake. That's yeah. actually gonna be quite relieving, I imagine. This is a melody that heals evil magic and hurt and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Yeah. Ah, yes. I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you'll return to normal. And with that... Yeah! We got the Deku Mask to keep as a memento. Press start to set it to the buttons. And when you wear the mask, you'll get back the body that you were just in. And you can turn normal too, so it's now, interesting. I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. Uh, uh funny story about that. Don't, don't tell me. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. What? Huh? Hey. <laughs> Glitch. Glitch. The mask that was stolen from me. It's, it's gotta be a Majora's mask. It is an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its something. Hexing rituals. <laughs> <laughs> it is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend. The troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. The ancient ones, fearing such a catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, the tribe from legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark hope and brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I'm begging you! You must get the mask back quickly! Or something horrible will happen! I beg you, please! 
begging you. I'm begging you. You must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strength. That was a demonic presence, everybody. Let's give him a round of applause here. <laughs> well done. For making my light year deaf, too. Well then, we are human again, and Tattle wants to interrupt us. That mask! The skull can use the power of the mask to do terrible things! What? Well, whatever. We gotta do something to do about that. The swamp the mountains, the ocean, and the cannon that Tattle was telling us about. Or a tale, rather. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside town. Each one in one compass direction. What are you supposed to think about the four who are there? I have no idea. He always keeps us for for defer firm. If we go to the gates straight ahead, we'll be healing it from defer. Okay. Well then. It's, it's time for the true adventure of the game to begin. Now that we have our ocarina of time, we can do a couple of song things. Now. There are a couple of things that I can show you that you can do with the songs, but I'll get to that later. Believe it or not, we kind of do want to repeat ourselves here for the first section of our little thing here. Uh, I'm going to do a few side quests before we get started on the actual game in order to, you know, prepare ourselves for what may come for the future. First off, a rather familiar scene. And I failed. There we go. I'm not, re I'm not reading the lines that we've already seen before. Just to save time. Come on, Aiden. Alright, so we know where to bring this back to. So why don't I uh, go ahead to that particular part of the game. Hang on a second, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, oh kind young one! Scattered through the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to the fountains. Surely they will eat your strength. Dad. Whatever. Flow and grab you so that the fairies will not fear you. Um, okay, if I see someone wearing that, I'm gonna kill them. You got the great fairy mask. If you wear it, you will uh, get fairies to swarm towards you like bees. Come like see me whenever bees. you're here. And we don't have to deal with her again. Anyway, she gave us the Great Fairy Mask. When applied, will look like this. Hey, John. Dear God. Yeah, I've seen it. Ah. I did play this game, you recall. How far did you get? Not very. Ah. And yes, I should also show the viewers uh, the DQ Mask. Behold! It looks really painful. Oh! Certainly your entire body is being turned into something else that you're not. And, uh, that's gonna hurt. Whoops. Damn it. Okay. Uh, another thing we can do right here is in North Clock Town, we can chop up this right here. Ah, okay, not like that, though. And we can get a third heart piece. It took me, like, and try to do that. We didn't you got a piece of my heart. No. I don't know why I did that voice just there. Doctor girlfriend. That's not Doctor girlfriend. Yes, but you do a horribly weird impression. Ah, uh, fine. Uh, I think. Okay, fine. I, I'll give the next female. Ki well, the next female character that's gonna speak that Doctor girlfriend voice. Are you happy now? Are you happy? No, because it's gonna creep me the fuck out. Right, so. The next thing we can do is in here, but before we do that, we can actually uh, get something else that might be useful for future gamers. If you come up this ramp over here, and then jump on this platform. Jump. Jump. JUMP! And then climb. And if you turn the corner and go right over here, we'll find a valuable treasure. Behold, within this chest is... NOTHING! Yeah! A silver rupee! It is worth 100 rupees! You're pretty happy! And, because you do, you go back in time, that will actually respawn every time you do the Song of Time thing. So essentially, if you want to grind for rupees, that's the way to do it. Do I know? 
uh, find the big treasure chest with that, ah, with Ruby's yes. and then go back in time. Anyway, it's 10 o'clock, so now this place is open. Is this a milk bar? No, this is the mayor's residence. There isn't a milk bar in this game, that's Woodmaker, isn't it? No, there is a milk bar in this game. Woodmaker doesn't have a, a milk bar. Although, oh, Woodmaker, I shouldn't play that again. You know what, I think I'll make that one of my future Let's Plays. Anyway, up here, up over here, rather. Okay, fine. Here comes the Dr. Girlfriend voice you want so bad. Oh, God. Oh, dear, what are you doing on a field trip? Oh, you're hired to be an expert person. Uh, actually, this isn't nearly as well as I thought it used to be. Uh, yeah, it, it's not. Yes, no. yes, yes, I say. No, it doesn't work. You need the character to make it work. You need the context. The characteristics of a person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, uh, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible. I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat. And maybe I've lost five pounds. What? You haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? Uh, yeah. And she slapped me across the face. <laughs> oh, my! Of course! But my voice is constantly changing. And she gives us a mask. With hair that reminds me of James from Team Rocket. Yeah! When wearing this to inquire the mis wear this to inquire about the yeah, him. So apparently there is a guy missing, and he has this face with the hollow black eyes. Uh, hey, look, it's the king from... And... Wait a second. A character with pink long hair, and a character with purple short hair. Team Rocket Blast off! Team, we, we essentially have the mask of Team Rocket here. Oh, he needs a lava fed. Oh god, there's one in the car. Okay, so what's happening here? Why are you wearing that mask? I don't know, you can read his lines. Madame Aroma. Aroma? Aroma. That's her name, really? Yeah. Oh. Madame Aroma, I am Gorman. It has been some time. Thank you for letting us perform at the year's Carnival of Time. They have a Carnival of Time? Oh dear me, oh. Gorman, there's a problem. Me meaning? Company performance I've asked you to do! Ah, yes! They've just cancelled! Just now! What? What? What's this? Allow me to ask Oh, wait, this is a different character. Do you want to voice this character, Don? You're the fish. The fish? Yeah. The fish. Oh, oh. oh. Excuse me, I'm going to this new song. Oh, that was the plan. Oh, people, manager of the Zora Band. The little doorbells. He arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual accident in Great Bend. Due to this unusual accident, he left the people. And the Indigo Bears has lost their voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you. At any rate, I must cancel our performance at this year's Carnival of Time. See? Then this means the Gorbin troops! The jo job is... It's off! But... but that's... That's all, Gorbin! There's always next year, this and other matters. Just what should I do? I mean, the Gorbin troop, too! Oh, Gorbin, I, I wish it was only your face that was annoying me right now. <laughs> well, you're a bitch! <laughs> and with... Stable. And with that, we must conclude our uh, our show. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and good night. You make a good fish.